Welcome everyone, my name is Kenneth. I'm excited to bring to you our brand new smart whiteboard. This is the 65 inch, also available in 86 inch. All right, so let's get into some of the great features on this whiteboard, all right? So first thing, what you're probably gonna notice is the 4K display, that's 4K 60 Hertz. It's got eight gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal memory. So you're gonna be able to load up any apps that you need to load up into it. The Wi-Fi on it, all right? So we got Wi-Fi, five and also 2.4 gigahertz so it's dual band just in case maybe you're at a location and they don't have wi-fi 5 so you can go with the 2.4 gigahertz uh, bluetooth is going to be 5.2 so that's the newest standard right now we got 20 point touch the great thing about the 20 point touch is that you can have multiple people up on the whiteboard at one time and everyone can just go ahead and just start you know if they're working and collaborating on any kind of meeting they can go ahead and work on it at the same time also on this is we got the eight array microphone system System. So it'll be able to pick up any kind of conversation within, I would say, 25 feet. And in brand new on this model is we have the 40 megapixel cameras. So let's get into the connectivity. Now, obviously, we can wirelessly connect into this system, uh, but let's talk about the physical connections, okay? So first things first, what you're going to find is a USB-C port on the front of it. This is really nice because you won't have to connect an HDMI plus a USB uh, connection onto this. You can just go off of one wire and it'll provide power, it'll provide data and also provide video as well too but let's just say you have a laptop that doesn't have USB-C we can go with HDMI and it does have a port right here to connect USB for touch functionality and then we also have a couple USB ports on the front let's say that you have a thumb drive you want to connect it to the front and you want to load up some spreadsheets you can do that as well too so that pretty much covers the, the ports on the front let's take a look at the side on the side what you're gonna find is a couple HDMI ports so we have uh, two HDMI ins, we have an HDMI out, and then we have a display port in as well too. So if you have a computer that only has display port, we can go ahead and we can connect it directly into there. We can use the HDMI in ports as well. A nice feature though is that HDMI out. So if, let's just say for example, they have a projector or they have another uh, monitor in a whole uh, different room, uh, you can just go HDMI directly to the other one if you didn't wanna go wirelessly. Also on here, what we do have is a couple more USB 3.0 ports, and we also have another USB Type-C port on the side as well too. All right, so now that we've talked about some of the physical ports and some of the buttons on here, let's talk about wirelessly streaming into it. They made it really, really easy on here. Uh, you'll see the first icon on the front, it's called screen sharing. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click that. And it's as simple as just going on this website and then entering in this code and you will be able to see anything that's on the screen. And the nice feature about this is it's not limited to just the Android operating system. If you connect your laptop to this, if you connect Windows 10, Windows 11, and you switch it over to the different input, everyone that is viewing this is gonna be able to see what you're seeing as well too. All right, so let's get into the star of the show, which is the whiteboard. So let's go ahead, it's gonna click on it. It's the second icon on the home screen. We're just gonna click on that. I'm using the stylus. The stylus does come with the 86 inch and the 65 inch, um, and it has two different locking mechanisms. So you could put it on either side. All right, so on the bottom, what we're gonna have is, we're gonna have a, a lot of different options on the bottom. So first things first, we're gonna select a pen type. Lots of different options on the pen types. We're gonna go with an oily pen, and then we're gonna go into the colors, and there's an RGB mode where we can fine tune it and find that exact color that it is that we're looking for. So as you can see, it's very, very responsive. Okay, and so right now I have it on multi-touch. So if I touch it two different places, it's gonna work. But if you wanted to, you can switch it over to zoom mode and then you can actually, just like a cell phone or a tablet, you can zoom in, get a whole section, move it over, slide down, go into that section, zoom in, lots of different options, okay? So that's gonna be the pin. There's also an erase mode. A couple different ways to erase. We could actually use the back of the stylus to erase. Uh, but my favorite way is just to slide it clear. So we can go ahead and we can slide and we can clear everything off. Select mode is gonna be if you needed to move something around. So for example, if I drew a shape right here and I needed to move it around, I can click on select, select the area, and then I can just start moving it around too. I could even rotate it into any direction that I want to. So it's a really, really nice feature. All right, so let me go ahead and click that off. And there's an undo button in case you make any mistakes. 
And we have an insert section over here and it has a couple cool features on it. You can actually insert an online video. You can insert an online image. You can upload your own image that you have on a zip drive. And we actually have graphics and we have tables that we can use as well. So for example, if you needed to make a quick shape, let's just say a square, we can click on that square feature and then you can just resize it to the, the size that you need. So, you know, the next thing would be the table. So if you needed a table one here, you can go ahead and click on that. You can move the table around. You can resize the table to a different size. So if you needed, think of kids, if they needed to do any kind of multiplication, any kind of math, things of that nature, you can pull that up as well too. If you needed to share anything on here, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can hit the three dots right here and uh, you can go ahead, you can open up any files that you have. You can save it, save as, and you can actually just create a QR code and then someone can come over here and scan this and then they basically would be able to see any image or anything that you have on the whiteboard. All right, one more thing I did want to mention is you have multiple pages as well too. So if I click on this plus sign and then I already created a second image, right? So I can go back and forth. This is the first one, this would be the second one. All right, I want to talk a little bit about the quick menu. There's two ways to access the quick menu. You always have this floating icon that can be moved around anywhere and we can click on that. And then you have a couple different options in here. You have going back to the home screen, going back to any page that you were on before, quick access to the whiteboard, quick access to the OPS. And then we also have a quick comment section so that we can just go ahead and start making comments on any screens that we are. And then we also have a file management as well too. Now. That's the floating icon you also have on each side of the whiteboard, the two dots that you see right there, and that'll open up your quick menu as well too. So we can click open that, and then it'll give you a lot of options as well too. Some of the options that you'll see on here is another option for the comment mode. You can do a screen share, you can put a curtain, a screenshot, scan to go if you needed to send any of the images to someone. We have a timer on there, camera function, and a couple others as well too, like adjusting brightness and adjusting uh, volume as well too. So the whiteboard does come with a couple apps. You could also sideload your own APKs in there. That's gonna be accessible in the more uh, icon. That's the fourth icon on the home screen. We're just gonna go ahead and click on that. And you can see some of the apps that are built into it. So like you'll see a calendar, Google Chrome, settings feature. And then we have a couple other things like Zoom, the DeepHub class, which is great for education purposes. Uh, the display note broadcasting is an awesome feature that actually um, off of any web page that you go on, you just go ahead and you put in, we have Zoom in there as well, works great. You'll be able to get any kind of meeting that you wanted to get in here. Well, that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you for joining us on the Smart Whiteboard.